Vice President Right Honorable Salos Chirima returned from Lusaka, Zambia, where he attended the burial of Zambia's President Michael Sata. Our reporter Bess Nyangwa accompanied the Vice President and gave us this report. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Realizing the importance of this adage and also bearing in mind the long-standing bilateral relations that exist between Malawi and Zambia, His Excellency the State President, Professor Arthur Peter Mutarika, delegated the Vice President, Right Honorable Saulo Stilima, to represent him at President Sata's funeral as he was engaged with other official duties. The Vice President arrived in Lusaka, Zambia on Monday, November 10th, and was welcomed by officials from the Malawi High Commission, led by Malawi's High Commissioner to Zambia, David Bandawe. The Vice President then on the same day went to Nkwazi House No. 1, which is Zambia's main state residence, where he paid his last respects to President Michael Chilufia Sata. Right Honorable Chilima and Madam Mary Chilima then met Zambia's First Lady, Dr. Christine Kaseva Sata, in private, where they conveyed their condolences on behalf of President Mutarika and the entire Malawian nation. Speaking after visiting Kwasi State House, the Vice President said Malawi was mourning with Zambia and that as a nation, she would stand by her neighbor during the trying moment. Basically, the message is a message of condolence uh, from His Excellency uh, Professor Arthur Pidam Tarika, the President of, of Malawi, as well as the people of Malawi. And uh, also to say that see, we are mourning with them, we are together, and that's why uh, the President delegated me to come uh, and attend, as you know, His Excellency is uh, also receiving a visitor back home and uh, I had to come and uh, represent us here. So it was a message of condolence from the President and from the people of Malawi and to mourn with them uh, as they bury their President tomorrow. Tuesday, 11th November 2014. The day scheduled for President Michael Chilufia Sata's burial. The Vice President, alongside several heads of state and government, joined Zambians for President Michael Sata's funeral service, which is held at the Heroes National Stadium, one of Zambia's landmark infrastructures and one of President Sata's legacies. Thousands of Zambians flocked to the stadium to bid farewell to their beloved leader. The funeral service is preceded by a mass in which Vice President Right Honorable Saulo Chilima and Madame Mere Chilima partook. Among the speakers at President Sata's funeral service at Heroes National Stadium were outspoken Zimbabwe leader Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe, AU President Nkosaza Nadlamini Zuma, and Ruling Party Secretary General Edgar Lungu, who is also Minister of Defense and Justice and one of the people he marked to lead the Patriotic Front in the presidential elections that according to Zambia's constitution will be called in 90 days from the president's death. From Heroes National Stadium, the remains of President Michael Chilufia Sata are taken to Embassy Park, his final resting place, to lie side by side with other fallen Zambian presidents. Here, also lies Zambia's first democratically elected president, Frederick Chiluba. Alongside him is President Levi Manawasa, who also died midway through his presidential term. As President Michael Sata's coffin was being lowered into the grave, many could be heard saying, Umupashuenu utushe mumtende. May your soul rest in eternal peace. Right Honorable Chilima, is among those that lay their reefs at Sata's grave. Wednesday, November 12th, is the day that presidents and vice presidents, including Right Honorable Saulo Stilima, have to return to their respective countries. After all has been said and done, Michael Chilufia Sata, also known as King Cobra, the action man, shall remain celebrated among many Zambians for the tremendous reforms and development he has initiated in the short time he served as president. Besta Nyangwa, MBC News, Lusaka, Zambia.